Hi everybody, welcome to October's uh, book, Ginny Lee Gentry Book Memorial Book Club. God, this is where we're starting already. <laughs> and I am your I'm Alan the Unicorn, up. and with me is Dalian, just James, Terry. Why does guy say James? James? We will that's my name. Just James. It is. No, just no. James. Just James is the way he says it. Like okay. it's just James. Like. He, nah. So, but, hey, nobody. Did you say Alan the Unicorn? Or you said yes, I did oh. say Alan the Unicorn. I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. That's who I fucking am. Whoa, this, is, this is a PG. We don't need to be. Hey, we never said it was PG. We just got <laughs> to edit that. Beep. Yeah. Beep from there. PG 13, we'll have one. We'll have one. You won't, you yeah, won't get I mean, any ad since. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you need to get followers. <laughs> yeah, so, like, I can get multiple followers before I do that. So we'll be reviewing uh, Copra. It's the first trade, the first six, which apparently everybody hated except for me. I'm going to be on the island by myself. Um, but we will be discussing that, and we will be reviewing all those. So who wants to go first? First, was, uh, Copra, who is it by? Who who it by? It okay, first. so first we're going to talk about it's written. It's written in art by uh, uh, Michael. I don't even know how you say How would you say his last name? Fifi? Fife? Fifi. Fifey. How do you spell it? Oh, he was a cute American. -E. -E. So I don't know if that has any bearing on it's how you what? pronounce Cuban American. So, that would have so it's any. maybe Cuban. So I don't know. I don't know. So Cuban Fefe something. Michael Fefe. Yeah. Fefe. Fefe. Michael F. So he he it is his creator own and he's done, he posted it through Image. Um, and this is his. We started on the first series that he did because he just relaunched it now on a second series, um, and it has been apparently a source of contention that everybody. So the overall lying arc is basically there's assassins. They are protecting this particular artifact, and then they, there's another guild of assassins that kind of come in and take it over. Or steal it from them. I kind of got it as a like a Suicide Squad or a Dirty Dozen. Very much Suicide Squad. Dirty Dozen because that for and they that first mission that they go on. Yeah. They're not the good guys. They say we're the bad guys, and then they see the artifact, and the artifact destroys the city. Well, they kind of like they they don't really. I mean, like they're not really good guys even throughout. Like they're just kind of. There are already good guys in this book. Yeah, it's just kind of like they're the lesser of the evils that are around, and I mean, like it really isn't a good guy bad guy kind of thing. It's like. They're just trying to stop everybody from destroying all the stuff that they have. Like, it's just destroying their world. And, and, and intermixed with other things. But there's, like, a lot... Of, they're all assassins. They all have, like, their little backstory. And it's about the kind of, like, them getting burned. And then them trying to recover this artifact so that they can, like, basically... It's not used for... To kill everything. Sum it up pretty well? That sums it up. Yeah, sums it up pretty well. Okay. So, let's start with the story-wise. Like, how did everybody feel about the story? Like, did everybody... It had moments where I like... I was like, oh, that's an interesting thing. And I like to see how this progresses. And then... Stuff. Things happened. I was like, what? I didn't know Who? what was going what? on half the time. It was so convoluted. It would... I couldn't even it introduce a new character I, that looked like the other characters, and the, I, what? I couldn't understand the direction half the time. Go ahead, Dal. No, you go ahead. No, I'm okay being on the alone. I I will be on the island of a uh, of a uh, go team Cobra, because I I really Cobra. 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 We don't Cobra. We Cobra. 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 Yeah. It's not it's not the hottest spot north of Havana. It's the book, not the. Not the I understand. Book. Okay. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. So I'm okay with being a Lone Ranger on this one I, because I really enjoyed it. I thought, I thought it was the story kind of, was the story. I, I mean, it was. It, so he tells me to go and then he starts in. Well, okay. I thought you wanted me to go. I'm sorry. So go ahead. Finish. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No. Somebody go. 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 I'm gonna go again. Um, I thought the uh, yeah you could the the art I thought was unique. The art was horrible. We'll, we'll get there. We'll sir, get there. You just shut your mouth. Just the story. It was uniquely horrible. Shut and I was just talking about the story. Uh, I'm going to say ask once, too, and not no. Well, you just said twice, so you ruined it. Never over. There was on my ad space. So, I, guess I thought the art was unique. Yeah, there were some times it was kind of hard to tell, like, one character from, especially, like, the, 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 uh, Deadshot-looking character. You know, I thought there were several people that could have been him. Um, 
story wise, I mean, it, it's I'm sure it, it fleshes it out more uh, at like issue seven through ten or something. Um, I didn't think it was horrible. I didn't think it was like awesome. I, I would say probably a low good for story or low okay. Um, but character wise, I mean, I, I, like James has said, I thought there were some unique things about him. I really liked it. I liked the way that they did it because I feel like I I disagree with it being convoluted. I feel like it was definitely a lot more simplistic. I think everybody was trying to make it more than what it was. Why well, couldn't you get the dialogue between the characters half the time? Was just 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 didn't make any sense half the time. Well, see, and I, I that's what I'm saying is like I completely disagree because I feel like he explains almost everything. Almost a little bit too much. Yeah. Like, he does kind of explain, like, what's going on at that time, what you need to know, gives you the gist of it, and then goes on. So it's almost like he's too simplistic with it sometimes mm-hmm. to, that he doesn't go into a lot of their and stuff. Because you're like, who is this character? And then it's just like, but he just keeps going with it. Yeah, and I, I actually kind of like that. Um, I definitely, I read further on. I, I'm on, like, book three. And so definitely a further on, like, they do start explaining the characters more and do explain their motivations and stuff like that. But as far as, like, the first six, you, first six issues, it's not about the characters. It's kind of about them just trying to survive and trying to not be burned from, or trying not to uh, get caught by this other, you know, since they got burned. Yeah, because uh, they, the, yeah, they got blamed. Yeah, they got blamed for the explosion. For so, yeah. you know, they were a fugitive, so they are just so trying to survive. Vortex. They are trying to get back to the artifact. Was it Vortex? I don't remember. I just thought yeah. the dialogue and the direction of the story was just all jumbled together. We just wait. Okay. I and I I I really liked it. Like I liked the way that he did. Like he kind of took artistic license with some of the dialogue instead of saying like the actual artifact. It was like that little symbol that they kept right. playing with. They wouldn't say that. And then later on, even again in, in like other books, he talks about like when they started talking about like alien things or things that are like reference as far as like an artifact or, or an item it would be like a symbol instead of being the actual like word for that name because it doesn't exist in this particular dialogue so well, the name for this artifact wasn't like there was no existing name for it so they just used that symbol which i thought was kind of interesting and neat and i thought it was actually like i mean like you knew what you i, I mean i knew that i knew all the characters already i knew like they were assassins they were like this guy did this the first like the first book or the first few pages is what they introduced like hey these people are married they you know she's an, a giant assassin he's a he's a fighter right. this guy is a you know like this guy can uh, use he's like a doctor light kind of character they kind of tell you i mean like word for word like exactly what right. they do and so they don't i mean i felt like it was almost a little too simplistic which i kind of liked it wasn't like it didn't try to make itself into a book that was uh, a lot of stuff that it maybe wasn't going to be so I actually really, really enjoyed it. I thought it was kind of fun and interesting and, and quirky and different and not the typical superhero or not the typical... Even though the, the tropes of some of the uh, characters were definitely there, I don't think it was as... Uh, I mean, you had the, the surgeon who was very much Doctor Strange, yeah. you know? Yes, and like they had like the... The main bad guy, I couldn't ever get... The vor- vortex or Vox or whatever. His Vox, name was. yeah. That he was part of their team and he Before, got yeah. power yeah. and where and from the artifacts. What? Yeah. But even before that, he went bad and when you had that final, that, he that was all cooped up and from the energy from the artifacts. Yeah, it was, yeah, just, it was, it was just like jumbled together and I was trying to piece it together and the dialogue just didn't seem to match to me half the time. And I was having to go back pages and reread it, and it still didn't make any sense. And the art was just all over the place, and the people, the characters, running all over the place, and didn't even know why they were there you or were, going anywhere. You were looking for metaphors. No, I'm not looking for any metaphors. I'm just looking for something to be halfway decent in the whole thing. See, and I, I, I the I art could have been done by a five-year-old, maybe even monkeys. I think the art was the actually thing, really neat, like especially with some of the action poses and stuff like thing, that. No, they were just horrible. The only thing interesting about the art was maybe occasionally he would do some powers and he would do some doodles, and those doodles looked interesting, but that's about it. The rest of it just looked horrible, and I can't even believe it was published. It was a piece of crap, really. So That's how I really feel. It was That's horrible. fine, but I wow. really I really complete, feel the complete opposite. Like I really enjoyed yeah. the art. I thought it was definitely an artistic take I on it. There's the characters each each of them looked. Unique. I didn't see either characters were unique. They were just ripoffs from other characters. 
I mean, like, I don't disagree with that. Like, I don't disagree so as I far as, like, the character. in those characters. Well, I mean, well, I mean like, there was... Look, but they still had their own uniqueness. The, yeah, like, there was, like... personality. They didn't like, actually... Work. Their personalities seemed to be ripped off as I well. I don't think so. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's... The a, there's the, the, there's the model girl that's, like... She looks like a cyborg, kind of... Uh, but it's just her suit, that, that black and, and white suit with a little sprig of hair. I thought was kind of fun. The uh, even like the guy that played like the the fighter or the rumbler like I really liked his outfit I really liked his costuming I really liked the only thing was like I do agree with James as far as like I think uh, there was a certain areas where a lot of times when they were out of costume it was hard to tell who was who because some of the faces looked a little bit mm-hmm. same the same because some of the art was very simplistic. Horrible. I mean, you know, I mean, it wasn't. It wasn't entitled to your opinion, but I disagree completely. I don't think like, it was I think, horrible. I mean, yeah. it was. It was very. I mean, like it, it was, was very his own style. Yeah, and there was style. There was the the five splash style. pages. Like, Can you I draw just, better? Probably. I don't, I don't know. Well, I've seen five-year-olds draw better than that. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure. I mean, like, he was ever a really talented five year old because I have not. There's just been stick figures that might have been better. Like, I mean, like, there's this part where, like, uh, the uh, the kind of, um, what's the Dr. Dr. Vertigo kind of character mm-hmm. where he, like, has, yeah. like, he manipulates, like, the way their perception, where there he takes the cyborg and he kind of, like, jams his perception and, like, he triplicates him in certain a certain panel where it looks like he's, like, it looks super confusing and, like, the weird and the way. But really, to me, it made me feel like that way. It made me feel like there was a part where it's like, wow, that, like, that's really super disorienting. Yeah, the way that sounds he, like some of the that. doodles that he did. And then, like, you know, like, the, the Vox, the guy that, like, they're fighting, uh, you know, he, when he was really big and poofy, like, he made him, like, kind of monstrous and just mm-hmm. weird. And then, like, the girl with the scar in her eye, the, like, Katana, like, character that had, like, that huge, like, weird scar, I thought that was really cool. Like, she looked really neat. And the guy that ended up being... Oh, I can't remember his name of... Uh, there was a character a long time ago that um, had the, like has the shadow self that has like the outline of the of the he had he the guy the character in here had like the vest and it was from another world and he had like the outline he had like the energy aura like i really liked the way he did him like he had like this weird look to him and i liked the robot the robot was really cool and that weird brain character where they were like gluing on it gluing on her eye like i just i don't know like yes, i yes and was the eye dropped off one yeah and then she like kills them yeah, yeah. I, I thought that oh, was really was neat villain, yeah she yeah, was yeah. and she yeah. comes in later on like well, like they, you said they, they were all back. kind of villains yeah though. right but was she, really, yeah. yeah like i and i mean just i i really liked the, a lot of those, like splash panels and some of the um you know the fighting scenes were really neat like when they were fighting like the, the guy they were trying to like shake down for information in the restaurant and he like you know he's like ninja fighting them and I mean, I just, mm-hmm. I completely just see her. Yeah, and like, I mean, like, it's just, I really felt like that was kind of fun. Like, it, it didn't try to be something it wasn't. It didn't try to be something, like, really super intuitive, like, I feel like Doomsday Clock is trying to be, where it's supposed to be, like, this really intricate metaphor and all this stuff that's, like, tied in that you maybe don't know, but somebody's like, if you look in the background or you mention this, like, it, it really yeah, is just kind of simplistic. I it ever became anything. And I, I mean, I, I just like kind of liked really about it. Like, I think it was I, like you said, simplistic. It yeah, was simple. I, you know, yeah. it's a book. You didn't have to think. It, it was like it was no, like a blockbuster just, movie uh, in the summer. Right. You go sit. It's there, a Michael Bay movie where yeah. you just yeah. go yeah. and you watch the big movie and you just like. I just like, 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 try to think about. It. I was like, what the hell are these characters saying to each other? What the I, hell is the story doing? Where's it going? I mean, when I read it, I sat and I read all six issues over. You know. I think I read the first two issues, and I think I went back and read the first, the the, la- the later four. Uh, but yeah, you know, the first issue, I was just like, well, you know, I don't know. And then after reading it more, you get into it, um, and it is a simple story. It's a story of a, of a, of a heist gone wrong. Yeah, and everything and like, else. So. I think I like the sorcerer character. How the the the. Uh the sorcerer kind of helped them, but didn't help them. And <laughs> but the assistant's like, you know, yeah. really shouldn't do this. You yeah. Know? <laughs> and she's like, but then they turn her into, see, even in later books, they turn her into a different character. Like, she becomes, like, uh, addicted to the, the power from the power of, from the artifact, and mm-hmm. they kind of show where the artifact came from. And I just, I don't know, I really, really liked, I thought it was interesting in a different take on stuff. Well, apparently, some people are liking it. I mean, yeah. it wouldn't have lasted as long as it has and started a new series, mm-hmm. but, I don't know. It's not for me. All right, so I hear there's a tough one for you. What's something that you did like? Was there anything that you liked? Like I said, he did some interesting doodles, which I call doodles. I thought, I, I like the art Overall, the art was art, art style. Yeah, it I could really be refined just art. a little, but still, I think it worked. There were times when 
the story grabbed me and I'm like, okay, yeah, I want to see how this plays out. So. <laughs> then it lost you <laughs> after <Yeah>. that. <laughs> All right, so obviously there are things we didn't like, or you, uh, but I have to agree with you on that point. Like sometimes I feel like the story did, some of the dialogue was a little bit uh, jumbled. But well, I, the lettering I, was awful. It I know it was a stylistic yeah, choice, yeah. but I couldn't, I couldn't physically read what it was half the time. I'd have to go back. Is that an L? Is that a Q? Is that a Batman symbol? <laughs> if, if only if you're reading on a tablet, you could, could have been all three. <laughs> blow that image up. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah so, but you if you're not, yes. that's true. I mean, you told it closer. I, I mean, I didn't. I didn't read physical copies, so I don't know what the physical copies look like. I mean, I, I actually am going to go back and try to get the physical copies because I actually enjoyed the book. But the like on the digital one, I, I can. It's just a thing, you know. It just blows up the whole right. panel, so I didn't have an issue with that. Right. But I can definitely see. I, I don't disagree with anything that. I mean, I don't disagree. I disagree to the to the extent to you guys extent, said, yeah. but I don't disagree with some of the things you're saying. Like I can I can see where like people get confused, but I definitely felt like it was a little bit more of an artistic book, and that's what I I really liked about it. And uh, sometimes that's also what they I would like make artistic choices, and you couldn't tell. Like you talked about them triplicated somebody, yeah. and it's like, are they being triplicated, or is it showing them moving really fast? Or is it, or I don't know. There's some weird artistic things, and I'm you couldn't tell where they were going with it. I, I mean, I like I said, I totally if you understand. Draw three characters, yeah. then you'd think they triplicated it. Whereas you know, like in you know, if you show a a, a thick, fully fleshed out character, and then like. Some you know just some fades with some long you know then you're like okay well he's just moving real fast but this one didn't seem to we're fading out or blur something those different we're fading in I didn't have a problem with that like I but I mean I also that's the reason I read a lot of comic books is for the art so that I I feel like maybe that's something I pay attention to more and like I I can see. And I also have read about, uh, or have talked, or listened to some of his co- podcasts uh, on some of the the other uh, uh, channels that I've watched or listened to. And he talks about his different stylistic choices and stuff like that. Which so I don't. Maybe I went into the book with a little bit more of a different view. And I actually, just like I said, I, I really enjoyed the the way that he did a lot of things. So, um, so, um, do you think there was something that would have made it? Not you, Terry. Anybody, you, Terry. Do you think there's something that would have made it better or worse? Like, or made it better to make it a little bit more accessible? Like Different artist and a different writer? <laughs> do you think you could, uh, like, do you think that, like, if he lettered it different, do you think it would have been a different, like? No. I would have liked it, and carrying on reading the extra books, uh, like, I... The, what I got was I got more of the characters. Like they definitely went into the characters more, which I really enjoyed, and I've I've been enjoying it so far. But like the first six issues, I think was like kind of just this action packed kind of thing where they just went, and, all right, and we're hitting the ground running and go. And that's kind of how it was. It's like that whole, like everything just happened so fast. And I actually, I actually liked that better. It, it got me interested in the book and and kept me going yeah, throughout the. I, I understood that there was supposed to be action going on. But it didn't pull me in, so I didn't feel it was action packed at all. I can get that. And when they did show action, it was so co- I I couldn't tell what the action was. That first scene with the where they attack the the car. I had to read that like four times before I understood that the the main bad guy you know stuck a pole down and got I was. I couldn't follow any of that, and then there oh, was, really, like, <laughs> yeah, and, yeah then, uh, and that may be a source of uh, of the art not having any a lot of times not having a whole lot of depth in the background to flesh the the something in the front out. Well, like in this panel, the she's about to jump shit. She's arguing with she you. Arguing with you. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, yeah, she's like, I agree. 
Tell him, James. <laughs> but, uh, so you've got the guy with the robot arm. Right. And he shoots. Right. And you're like, so there's this, did he hit someone? Did he disintegrate them? And then I'm like, well, okay, everybody's accounted for. You know, I don't think he shot anybody. No. I mean, I well, that's the thing, but it took, no, I, took I had to read, I took, I had to read I took, it. I missed, so that's why I, I had to read to it like five yeah. times to figure out what in the hell was going on there. I was like, I was just. So, I mean, so, that one panel, I'm completely lost. So maybe you all were <laughs> overthinking it. Yeah, I was like, I didn't have, I didn't have any of that. Yeah, because I didn't have any of that hang up. Like, I totally got the guy stabbed him through the pole. Yeah. Totally got that he betrayed him. Totally, yeah, I, just, I mean, like, I, just, I was just, I and I'm. Yeah, he's I was shooting just, him. He's flame throwing that. Well, I, don't, yeah. I don't see the confusion. I yeah. I'm, I'm just completely lost as to what's going on here. I, I didn't I have any of that issue. Any, I mean, I, I understand just, what's going on. I know. <laughs> well, it's like it's the first time we've ever been this divided on a book. I mean, <laughs> I think we... All right, I mean, uh, there were things I didn't like, like I said, but there again, I mean, I didn't. I went into it, you know, reading it. And well, I went into it. No, I, hadn't, I had no clue what this book was about. I never heard of it before. So I might have heard of it or seen it like in the in the diamond mm-hmm. or something like that. That's what I had. I've seen, seen, seen it. I've seen it like on my wish list a couple times or my uh, recommended list, and then I saw like I I listened to the Savage Finn cast, which I love Savage Dragon, so I listened to that, and he's been on there a couple times, so he's talked about it, but I've never actually like I said I've never physically even looked at the book until book club, and so a lot of it I just but even that like I still don't. I just I'm not for sure why, but I didn't have those issues. Like I didn't I I totally followed everything. I kind of like I said occasionally there was some dialogue that I was like a little a little confused about, but a lot of it I mean I don't know if I just yeah, I don't know if I had the same issues that James had, but I had issues with the art and right. and figuring out what was going on sometimes. See, and I I just don't think I I don't know maybe I'm weird. Just well, no possibility. Yes. <laughs> we know that. <laughs> Well, I'm weird, I'm weird about this. Like, I just, I don't know. I just didn't have that kind of hang up about it. I didn't have that kind of issue. But I mean, again, I would understand if that was, if I was having that issue, I would be a, a lot more annoyed with it. But I really felt, I thought I, I thought it followed well. And like I said, like I think it even explained things pretty much to the point. Like, I mean, the first page is like, hey, here's who these people are. And then you know, and the next thing you know, they get attacked, and then oh, here's who that person yeah, was. Even when they said and then, and my problem people, is, once like, I start getting lost, it's hard it's to back. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a snowball effect. Yeah. And then you read in, about a new person, and they go into detail, but I'm still trying to. Get, well, I certainly can't understand this because I still don't understand this. There was a moment when they brought in the guy with the vest that had the like the energy aura mm-hmm. that was kind of from the alien world with the brain character and stuff like that. That I got a little lost on because they kind of went from one situation to that completely right. different situation and that was completely different. And I didn't quite understand that until like, but as I, I but I didn't get hung up on it. I just kept going, and eventually right. I kind of sussed out. So I got hung up on it. See, and I just you high centered it. I uh, high centered. Well, well see, like, but a lot of it is like later on. It like it reveals like all that stuff. I guess I don't know if I was. I don't know. Too I, like, little, too late. I and then again, I can get that, but I I was I was still wanted to see where it was going, so I just kept going, and you know they explain where he's from. That becomes a part of the story. Is you know they go back to his world to kind of. Um, stop some things and it's you know there there's other things that like I feel like I didn't get like tied down in this situation so I just kept going and they explained those things later on but um, do you think this would be a good movie or animated or TV show I think it would be a really great TV show it like, makes sense of it yeah I mean I can see it as an animated that guy's art is. I actually think this would be a really good, like, I, I kind of think makes me think flux. of, like, yeah. or like Titans. Yes. Like, I, I think live yeah, action. Ian Flux is interesting. This was not even interesting. See, and I feel like Ian Flux was really com- convoluted and crazy. Like, they just, like, there's things Ian that Ian Flux did. I could follow. See, yeah. I, I, I could follow Ian Flux. 
so What's confused. What's on Market Fall? With some, uh, uh, oh, silent, no, I disagree. A, a silent, like, a silent, there's way too much sci-fi or... stuff. Like, they, they, they give you way too much crazy... I mean, like, there are some crazy visuals on Alien Flux. There were. <laughs> I, I think this... I think that art style... Uh, this art and then the movie, I didn't quite understand. Yeah. Mm, I don't think this comes even close or lends itself to... Anything. Uh, really? Like I that know, long slender that's body? That's your opinion. Yeah. It, it is. is. Oh, and, and you're wrong. <laughs> and you're wrong. Um, so, do, do you think it could translate to more things? Do you think, like, a cartoon would, mm-hmm. like, do you, I mean, obviously, yeah. You hated it. Hated Maybe it. an animated movie, you know? You could probably do it. I don't know. I think you can. Like I said, I really enjoyed it. And I've I'm glad you did. It, but. Yeah, I'm glad, glad you liked it. Yeah. I did not have the animosity like you. I mean, it wasn't a big cesspool stink that like Uber or anything, but I mean, sorry, but <laughs> this Uber was better than this. Oh, I. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> sorry, I'm not a big Uber fan. So. I, well, I, I mean, like, I did, I did. one of your picks wasn't better. Either. Trident's policy wasn't much better no, than this either. I like, didn't care for Uber after I read it either. I. I like Transmetropolitan better than this. <sighs> Well, I mean, the art was better in Transmetropolitan. The dialogue and stuff was uh, about no. not much better. Transmetropolitan, no, no. The art was way better. Uh-uh. Was, oh, yeah. That was way too confusing. Art was better than this. Oh, no, no, no. That's what that I'm was so yeah. confusing. Yeah. Transmetropolitan, there was so much stuff that I, I it looks like... I think there's only one thing I've read that had this worse art, but the story was better, and this was some Topps Dracula thing that they did years ago. Tops like the car, like the yeah. They came out with these this Vlad, Vlad Dracula mm-hmm. series, Savage Sword or something of Dracula. Mm-hmm. It was horrible. It was terrible. It was black and white. Oh yeah, that's even that's even harder. Sword of Dracula. Sword of Dracula. Yeah. Image yeah. did that. Was it, was an image? Mm-hmm. It was in, one way. of those. Yeah. <laughs> it was bad. Well, the image is all is it's all self published anyways, isn't it? Like if they yeah. just a mere vehicle to to mm-hmm. get it out. Yeah. So a lot of that stuff because image has a lot of stuff that. If you stay for the reviews, I'll go through a couple of them <laughs> that they they publish things that I'm just like, I don't understand how they are done. I'm trying to get this over with. Yeah. I was just wondering what was next because he pushed it aside, so. Well, because we were done. Like, that oh, was the end of it. Did we go through everything already? Yeah. Well, there's well, no point. No point when right? you say you hate everything, and every time I ask the question, it's, I hated it. I hate it. It's crap. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> This conversation tends to be one-sided, so mm-hmm. it's easier just to shove it along. You're like, I like it, I like it, I like it, and I'm like, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Well, I explain why I like it. Like, I say I liked it because of this, and so... And I explained it well. <laughs> Broad strokes, Terry. Broad strokes. So. Small details. Wouldn't recommend Anyways. Well, what color would you rate this? I actually, uh, for myself, and I really enjoyed it, I would rate it a four out of five. But that's, again, I, I didn't have the same issues you guys did. I followed the story well. I thought it was written. I mean, I don't think the story what was. Did you rate it? Four out of four, five. Four out of five. But I mean, like, it's right up my alley. Like, it's action. It's crazy, weird art. It's like, you know, it's superhero y. It's the group teams. There's a bunch of characters. There's a bunch of things going on. Stuff's happening. And, like, that's the kind of stuff that I love. Like, it's, it reminds me a lot of Savage Dragon, where Savage Dragon's just like, I mean, it just goes nuts. And there's just things that happen. And you're just like, well, I don't know what's going on. But it, that's kind of the thing that I enjoy out of it. So I would say four out of five unicorn horns for myself. But I'd say probably two and a half. I didn't. Ha- I mean, I like I said, I didn't hate it. Hate it. Yeah, there were some problems I had with it, but like I said, probably two and a half. I give it a half. One half. I'm only. No, I. Re- I. I, 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 I was, didn't. I did not like it. The, I'm the, sorry. The, the characters were all over the place. They could. They there were there was no cohesive team of the characters. Um, even when they were trying to work together, they seemed to be working opposite of each other. Um, you never knew where they were half the time. You just knew that they okay. were here doing we, something. We heard that. I'm thinking, what are you yeah. I'm working on my rating. And so Five it just came later. down to doodles. And if I could, I'll give it a half a star for doodles. That's fair. So, uh, whose pick is next? Mine, fortunately. Okay. <laughs> I mean, fortunately, sorry. No, James, I, his pick's been pretty good. That's okay, man. So, I thought about what I was. I was leaning toward the new Fifty Two Blue Beetle, which I really enjoyed, but 
to really do it justice, you'd have to do like the first 25 issues, and I thought that was too much. So I picked a book that I haven't read that I've heard good things about, and it is Pox Romana. What? Pox Romana. You're going to spell that and one. It, it, it P-O-X? Is, image. And it is by Hickman, yes. who is currently doing X-Men. And I'm seeing where... That, I, I just flipped through it real quick. It, it's P-A-X-R-O-M-A-N-A. And it is... The Catholic Church discovers time travel... And they go back in time to prop up the church and make the church all powerful in the current time. Oh, so kind of like today. <laughs> but even more. Like the Pro- Protestant Reformation never happens, all that stuff. Okay, and we're just doing the first trade? Uh, As of right that's, now, that's all there is. Okay, it's there's just four, it's four issues. issues. Okay. Oh wow! Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it, like I said, it's Jonathan Hickman, and and just flipping through, I, you know, the X Men where he's got the page oh, full of my god. You know, there's that. Th- <sighs> <laughs> <sorry. laughs> what are you looking at? This? <laughs> where it's like where he's, it's just people talking and like a transcript. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh no wonder it's four pages before. There's like no pictures. <laughs> Mike liked it. Well, that's I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I don't know. I, did he tell you he read it or that he just read it? I mean, it's your pick. It's oh, your yeah, pick. I'll, I'll definitely tell you if it's crap or not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Terry will let you know. <laughs> Terry will let you know. It's that or the first 25 issues of. We'll, we'll, we'll do it. You picked it. We'll, we'll yeah, read it. We'll, we'll read it. it. Yeah. That's what I it's all about. Yeah, it's, it's your choice if that's what you want to go with. Yeah. All right. I read Cooper. <laughs> you did. <laughs> I read it. I agonized through all of it. Oh, my gosh. As many things that we've read, like, this is, like, I can't believe it. Like, now, now, had it been about the hottest night spot north of Havana, would you have enjoyed it better? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> oh my so God, apparently, so like this is not a book for you, everybody. Everybody's gonna have a wide varying d- opinion, and probably more than likely, out of the three of us, to dislike it. <laughs> well, like like I said, it's it, it ran a good series. It's got another series going, so some somebody's yeah. gonna like it. It just I mean, wasn't it's 36, me. It's in 36 issues. So what's that? Like how many? Three how many? Year, yeah. Because when I when I went look. For this to read it for book club, all I found was the first six. Oh, really? Yeah. No, they've got they've. I, I'm pretty sure I'm downloaded. Yeah, there's, one. there's the next yeah, there's more. There's four trade paper yeah. racks. Yeah. Is it look harder? Yeah. I guess I do. <laughs> so, anyways, <laughs> obviously, at least, at least like I mean, it. I would say go yeah. go go. Look Try at the it first six and issues, right. and if you like it, like continue it. on. If not, then. Obviously, it's probably not going to be for you. Maybe you can. Maybe you can't get through the first two issues. <laughs> Unfortunately, they were forced to. Yeah, I don't want to get discouraged anybody from at least checking it out. I mean, that's what we did. That's what the book club yeah. all about is checking it, really it out, is. and th- then you can say, "I'm not going any further or not." You know? It's true. Well, and like it before, you know, we were talking uh, before you guys got here. Me and James were talking about when it was uh, Lock and Key. I mean, we read Lock and Key, and we were only supposed to hit. We, we had only talked about reading the first trade paperback, and within a month... None of us could put it down. None of us... Yeah, yeah within a month, I think we read almost the whole oh, entire yeah. series. Uh, yeah, we got... I think we either got pretty close, or we all I finished. finished. Yeah, all I think I was still one, like, one or two issues off, but it was... I mean, sometimes there's just books that are, speak to everybody, and there's sometimes there's books that doesn't speak to anybody, like... This Uber Black or speak Amber. to you at all, or, or some Black Amber. Amber. Yeah, Black Amber. Oh God, that was horrible too. Yeah, Black Amber. Uh, that wasn't horrible. Who's, who's it was better than Black this. Hammer. No, I disagree. Is. That was atrocious. Whose pick was Black Hammer? Alan. I think it's mine. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Because so you'd heard good things, and but Terry's hate. Huh? No, well, I, I, I didn't I mean, hate like that's Black Amber. I think uh, Black Amber was much better than this. I don't. I did not like it at all. Like it was just. I just that one that one I was, I, was, like, I, I, was, I would, I would, I would, I would actually say that burden, but several of us here oh have read God, Beasts of so Burden. Good. That's so good. And That's so, good. and I want to pick some people hadn't read. Yeah, you pick whatever you you pick whatever your little heart baby hearts desire. So, so I highly book. recommend the first twenty five. 
So maybe next time your things. next pick, just pick the first six, and then if we like it, we'll carry on. Okay. Yeah. What it's are you saying, Terry? I'm sorry. I'm saying, since I've been in a book club, every book we've read has been better than this book. Mm-hmm. I disagree. No, read some really bad I would books. disagree. I, I, I Uber, disagree. Uber, no. But, I'm sorry, I didn't say for you guys. I said for me. Yeah, uh, I liked Uber better than this. I don't think I liked Sync better than this. I think I like this better. See, and like I love Sync, which I think is funny. Like yeah, I, you actually, you're saying you love it now. Wow, yeah. so I mean, like I, I've so, I've so collected it since it's come out. I read it out. I read it when it comes out. So, so you never know what the book's gonna. No, you don't. No, you don't. But that's kind of like I why that, we wanted to start. We do this. Yeah, I wanted this. That's one of the things that me and Jenny. You know, the reason why we started this. For one, Jenny was so, so much newer to the to the comics that, you know, she didn't have as jaded view as I did. So seeing her and like some of the jaded, suggestions. You have a jaded view. <laughs> jaded. jaded view on everything. <laughs> well, in this way, we're not just reading in our comfort zone. Right. Like I would have never, I would have never, ever in a million years picked up Sync. I would not even. I mean, would have never crossed my radar. I didn't even care. I don't know that I would have ever read Lock and Key, and and I loved it. Same same thing. Like I, it was. I'd heard about it. Everybody says it was. I just never had any desire. Oh my gosh! That was so good. Let me finish my comment though. I read it monthly. I could see that and maybe. And after like third issue, I was like, "Yeah, this is not." No, nice. I, I was I could reading see it that. as it came out, and I loved it. Yeah, I. But I could see definitely where like Lock and Key, where if you read it issue to issue, there were were things that kind of threw you off a little mm-hmm. bit. But because you can read it, you know, you just get into the right. next issue. I could see that, but I mean, I definitely have to say that's probably so far probably one of my best, my all time favorite books that we've read was that one. Next to, right next to it would be, oh god, I'm going to mess it up. Sorry, Jenny. Uh, Black Magic? Dark Magic. Black Magic. Black Magic. Black Magic. Black Magic. See, she would have made fun of me for that, because I was called that Dark was Magic. Before, she was making fun of me. That was our before, first one. Yeah, that was before. Yeah, that was before I, all you guys decided to hoard in on our action. That was one by Image, right? That Rucka wrote? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. And uh, Nicola Scott, which she's mm-hmm. an amazing artist. Her stuff is just phenomenal. I I like it's black and white, and it's just I read it that month. So I've been like watching it. the new but show, Stumptown, based on the book that Rucka wrote. Uh-huh. Uh, the show is awesome. Uh, so... I, the first issue was good. So I would think that the comic would be good. I don't have to get... Have to wait the next book club. Think. All right, so, so anyway, so we're gonna wrap it up. Uh, yeah, sorry, we're, we're rambling. Obviously, we didn't like. And most of us didn't like the the the. the some of us loved Oprah. it. Some of us hated yeah. it. That's book club. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so for, the next for next yeah. month, so that would be November. For November, we are gonna read the Pox Romana. Pox Romana four me. issues only, because it's just That's, four issues, yeah, yeah. limited series. And we will be back here uh, at the end of November to give you, uh, again, our unsolicited opinion. And in Terry's case, a horrible opinion. So, (laughs) if you can, like, share, and subscribe. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love comments. We'd love to have some bell notifications so you can see when we post more videos. And until then, we hope you follow us. Before you finish that up, uh, let us know what you think of it. Yeah, I would love to hear opinions on this one. Especially this one. Right, then this one is very. Divided. It doesn't matter if I'm right or not. It's if matter you whether or not you're right. I'm. I'm, I'm uh, take, no, you should we do right? a month? Would uh, you let me finish my comment, sir? <laughs> if you think Terry's right, then just put in your hashtag Team Terry. If you think Alan's right, hashtag Alan. <laughs> Alan's let's know, let's right know which team which team you support. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, now go ahead, James. <laughs> I was think have a month where. Viewer's choice of book that we yeah, read. I mean, as soon as I get more than one viewer, I would gladly do that. I would love to. Yeah. Viewers, please uh, comment the yeah. uh, viewer's choice. So yeah. if you have a choice you want to review, get at least nine other friends to watch yeah. the video. <laughs> and they can pick one. And then tell those nine friends to get another nine friends. I'll get it I'll give it to January. And if we can get a good list of books in January, then we will definitely pick one. But if we can't get a good list, then we'll, we'll just keep to, going. If we have more of our two viewers that want us, if they want us to, to review one of the books, we'll read it. We'll check it out. Well, I would like to have options just I in case. Like, I mean, I don't I want to. I know you like them. options. I know. And it's probably Julie that's reading this, so she doesn't read comic books or watch this, so it's she doesn't read comic books, so she wouldn't be able to pick one anyways. So. And we don't want Terry still. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's, he's got. He's got. <laughs> he's got. Well, at least poop jelly only had one issue. 
uh, Jeff, Jeff would be a good one. I bet Jeff, I would like to hear from Jeff and see what he has to say. He's Mr. Brown. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's, got he's watched, yeah. he's watched, he's watched uh, yeah. a couple of issues or he's come in episodes over yeah. stuff. Yeah. So I'd like to see what he has to say. Jeff, and, you're, we're calling you out. Yeah. Yeah. And anybody else you can find. So until then, we really hope your pull list is full. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Bye.